International Women's Day has just passed. And it, I can't help but think about um, something that happened when I was, um, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, 19, 20 years old. Okay. I was probably an adult or close to one by this time. And my mother, I was very disturbed by the um, sexism in the churches. Okay. And I had been for a long time. My mother came home and um, wanted to tell me about what her minister had said. And she said, oh, here's another thing he said. He said that God created man and woman to be equal. Okay, and then there was a pause, a tense pause. And then she went on, but he gave them different responsibilities. And I said, I don't want to hear it. And my mother said, um, is it because you don't think women are allowed any power in the church? I said, mother, I just don't want to hear it. And she said, having you is like having no daughter at all. I can't even discuss anything with you. The problem, of course, was that she didn't want to discuss anything with me. What she always wanted to discuss with me was sex roles or try to get me angry at men. She would try to get me angry at men, and then I'm supposed to sing hosannas because somebody discriminated in favor of a man. Okay. And as far as, you know, but he gave them different responsibilities. Here's the problem with that. My father had lost his job after 27 years working at the same company. He was having a lot of trouble finding another job. A lot of trouble finding another job. In fact, he was looking for work and looking for work and looking for work and not finding it. And our family was sliding very rapidly from lower middle class to impoverished. My mother had single-handedly or not single-handedly, but she had helped drive one of her three children insane. I have a mental illness in large part because of my relationship with my mother. Our family is exhibit A in the fact that traditional sex roles don't work for everybody. And my mother once said, she said, um, I think that that women's lib is just a collection of women who have failed at a role that was created for them. But if the role was created for them then wouldn't they automatically succeed at it if they're, you know, if it was made, you know, for them and they were made to do it well, then they would succeed. Okay. But the fact is there are a lot of people on the streets. There are a lot of people in mental hospitals. There are a lot of people in prisons and not all those people are necessarily there because of bad mothering, but a lot of them are. Okay. And that's just one reason why uh, traditional talk of traditional sex roles just is not something that I can, you know, be enthusiastic about. You know, I had a stay-at-home mother and I have a mental illness partly because we were so close. Okay. And my father has had a great deal of trouble being a breadwinner. Okay. So I just want to put it out there that... Um, this whole thing of assigning, um, you know, of saying that, uh, you know, man is supposed to be the, you know, do this, woman is supposed to do that. It just doesn't work for everybody. I hope you like hearing that and we'll tell other people about my channel. Because I want to grow my social media presence.